today's show is a very special one because we are celebrating Mother's Day. Our audience today is filled with mothers and daughters. Hi to all of you. It's very nice to have you here. It's really great. Um, and I'm especially excited uh, this year because it's my first Mother's Day as a grandmother to beautiful baby Jude. A great way to celebrate uh, Mother's Day this weekend is to watch our special uh, entitled America's Moms, a celebration of military families with Michelle Obama and Jill Biden. It's airing on Sunday at 8 p.m. on the Hallmark Channel. Uh, First uh, Lady Michelle Obama and Dr. Jill Biden joined me at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina to celebrate motherhood as well as our country's military families. And we had the very, very best time throwing an amazing baby shower for 40 expectant mothers whose spouses are all serving overseas. Take a look at this sneak peek. Well, I would like to know, do you get served breakfast in bed by the girls on Mother's Day? No. No. No, I don't. Maybe that's an idea. <laughs> I have some good menus for the girls. Tell uh, well, them, with give my, me a ring. With my mom here, I, I, Mother's Day to me is still about her. So, yes. Yeah, so yeah. Maybe you should be making breakfast for I, your I know. mom. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have spoke so soon. <laughs> Well, you won't want to miss this excellent special. There's lots of special moments and, uh, and some very interesting insights. So watch on May 8th, Mother's Day at 8 p.m. Uh, now on to our first guest. A very important role that many women experience is being mother of the bride. And the wedding day is one uh, that both mothers and daughters want to uh, look and feel their very, very best. Here to tell us more is Darcy Miller, our own editorial director of Martha Stewart <laughs> Weddings Magazine. Darcy, welcome. Yeah, so we can sit down and, uh, and talk. What well, about we, what about mothers and daughters on on the day oh, of the wedding? There's a, a lot to talk about. Right. We better focus <laughs> on what we're supposed to talk about. Um, well, it's a special day at wedding, and you want to look beautiful and feel beautiful, as does your mom. So we recently partnered with Pantene to create five webisodes, oh. which are launching on May 9th, and MarthaStewartWeddings.com. And um, we worked with we found four brides, and we helped them find their bridal style. So. One of our brides is in the audience yes. today. Wow, your hair has grown since then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, so, Miche, right? Yes. Miche Dempsey is from, where are you from, Miche? Originally Clinton, South Carolina, but I live in Hawaii now. Oh, you do? Lucky you. Yes. And this is your mother next to you? This is my yes. mom, Bert. Oh, yes. you look like your sister. You're so <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, uh, and so, so um, we flew the four brides to New York, and we spent a week together helping them figure out what their bridal style is. And that is a big part of figuring out your wedding. Right. What your style is from the flowers, the cakes. I don't know, what, what, what I was asking her this morning, <laughs> were there any tips that you really implemented? Oh, totally. Um, when Darcy asked what color thing or what scheme we were going with, I was like, ah. We're gonna have, you know, she whatever. She's about 95 colors, Martha. <laughs> oh, oh. No. So what, what color did you find? I think we're gonna go with a um, couple hues of green and pops of lavender. Oh, pretty. Yeah. And what about your dress? Have you chosen? Oh, I have my dress. Oh, you do? Yes. <laughs> it's stunning. Wonderful. Thank you. And we're not going to show any no. pictures of it. <laughs> no. no, no, no. You <laughs> cannot do that. So, um, Shay, how often do you get to see your mom? Not very often. Yeah. Maybe once. Where do you live? I live in Clinton, South Carolina. Oh, you do? You still live at, yes. home, at home? Okay. Yes. So and how often do you get to go to Hawaii? Once. Yeah. Oh. Once. <laughs> I know. In three years. Yeah. Where's the wedding going to be? In North Carolina. Uh, oh, so. Yeah. Which will be a great destination wedding. <laughs> so, Bert, have you decided on your dress and your hairstyle? Dress, I have a vision, but not totally together yet right. and as far she's as she's not hair, momzilla like my mom who was like shopping the oh, day no. i got engaged momzilla yeah. no i know your mom was so what about your hairstyle on um, my hair half up half down you know just so you have a vision of that too yes okay yes. well so dean uh what's very what's important when you're uh determining what you're going to do with your hair on the, the day of the wedding you don't want you don't want as a bride you don't want to look really different do you 
Right. Well, for the bride, the thing is, is everybody starts to grow their hair out so they look completely different from, you know, every other person that recognizes them. So it's that, that transition. But, you know, really important, the first thing I always ask about is the dress, if it's going to be off the shoulder, because sometimes you want your hair to be down and, you know, brushing against your shoulders. Or sometimes if you want, if you're going to have your shoulders covered, you may want to have it up. But the other thing is climate. Because if you're in a humid destination, right. a humid space, you want to make sure that that hair lasts all day. And you really want to, you know, build the layers up of styling guards to really help maintain that look as well. And I, Dean I, had lots of tips, actually, in the webisodes. He was one of the experts, and he's a great hairstylist. But you're, you're the hairstylist from, the, from Pantene. Right. Well, you know, okay. I did we American Idol for six years, you, and I've done a bunch of different things. Dean Banowitz. Okay. <laughs> just keeping it real. Okay. We just want to make sure and we get your name said. And it's kind of bizarre because I'm the only guy. I feel like I'm home yeah, with my seven you're... sisters. <laughs> yeah. Where's your mom? You could have brought your mom. Right. My mom is in Iowa. <laughs> she, she can watch. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, Dean is actually here today to give Bert a whole new look for the wedding. And we're very excited to see what he right. does to you. And uh, during the show, he's going to transform Bert, right? Yeah. Now, Bert, what's your real name? Bert? Bertha. Bertha. Oh, so everybody calls you Bert. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. It's cute. Very cute. <laughs> yeah. Dean, though, just nicknamed me Bertie. Bertie. Oh, Bertie. Bertie. Why not? They've, yeah. They've already bonded. <laughs> so what's the most important thing to keep in mind when you are choosing the, the, your hairstyle? Definitely the temperature and just make sure that you feel comfortable. You know, a lot of times you want to keep the hair away from your face to really open up your eyes. And if you're going to, you know, showcase any earrings, it's great to have, you know, half up, half down, I think is amazing. Yeah. But, you know, we're going to do a little um, shaping as well, and we're going to really transition her look. But oh, you also excellent. want to look like you. I mean, exactly. it's, not the, it's yeah. not the day whether you're the bride or the mother of the bride to look like a different person. Oh, I, I know. I went to a wedding. And the bride came down the old. The, you thought um, it was aisle. a different bride? Oh, I, did, I thought it was at the wrong wedding. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't look anything like she looked. And that's wrong because right. then she looks different in all her pictures. Exactly. And it was like really disconcerting. And you know, the big thing too is you want your mom to feel really special. And so just a little TLC and just really make her feel really important as well because it's it's her big day too. Right. And she's been waiting a lot of years for getting her. Rid of, yeah. Getting rid of the daughter. Oh. Not rid of her, but. Getting a son-in-law. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. exactly. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to send Dean and Bert backstage where Dean is going to give Bert a beautiful new hairstyle that she can wear at her daughter's wedding. And later on in the show, we're going to reveal her new look, right? Perfect. Good. Yeah. High five. Next, Blue Ribbon chefs Bruce and Eric Romberg share the recipes that they always make for their mom on Mother's Day. Tune in to watch the bridal web series, I Do My Do, at MarthaStewartWeddings.com slash I Do My Do. Brought to you by Pantene. Healthy makes it happen.
19 successful years with nine restaurants in Manhattan and Brooklyn. My next guest recently opened their 10th restaurant, an outpost of their acclaimed Blue Ribbon Sushi Bar and Grill in Las Vegas of all places at the Cosmopolitan. Today, in honor of Mother's Day and their mom, Sarah, uh, the two boys as, uh, will share her two favorite Mother's Day recipes. Please welcome Chefs Bruce and Eric Bromberg. Nice to have you back, guys. Thanks. Great really to be nice. here. And how did your mom's cooking actually influence uh, what you do in the restaurants? I think when we were little kids, we didn't think it did influence us a did lot. Did you make fun of her? Maybe did now you, and did then. Did you stomp your now feet and, and say, I'm not no. eating any more of this? <laughs> yes, we said chicken again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think the, as we go, it's almost 20 years we've had Blue Ribbon. I think we find that we cook more like our mother and grandmother than ever at this point. So you're Eric. I'm Bruce. Oh, my God. See, I got it wrong again. 50-50. <laughs> okay, 50-50 again. We Bruce, answered a boat. Eric, That's fine. Eric, yep. Bruce. I had to explain to my mom before we came out here, too. So. <laughs> and your mom, Sarah, is sitting right here in the audience. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Yeah. So, do, you <clears throat> do you think the boys will be cooking for you this Mother's Day? Not on Mother's Day, but the day after Mother's Day. We're going to all be together. How great. Well, you just opened in Las Vegas. How do you like it out there? I love yeah. it, really. You we do. love it. It's, such, it's really one of America's great culinary cities now with all the fantastic restaurants. Right. And I actually moved to Vegas from oh. here after 20 years. So. Oh, how great. You it's like, a great city. It's so a lot So that's why fun. you have a little tan. You look healthy. <laughs> yeah. right. I oh. left him with nine restaurants <laughs> in New York winter, and I, I got the best deal. <laughs> and your third brother is standing over there. Are you in the restaurant business, too? I am. I'm part of the Blue Ribbon Restaurants family. I'm a lawyer, though. Oh, yeah. OK. So you keep, that, you keep them all I'm the black honest. sheep of the family. Oh. <laughs> but you like to cook? Uh, absolutely. Oh, great. That's so, so great. Well, let's get started. Uh, you chose to make for mother today a poached salmon with a cucumber salad. Th this was just something that was kind of mom's favorite when we'd go to restaurants. She'd look for that on the menu. You don't find it very often, but when we did celebrate Mother's Day at home, this was always on the table. So a beautiful side of salmon. This is a coho Bone. salmon. Yeah, it looks... It's a little bit leaner salmon, but just a really delicious fish. Yeah, and very, very red, beautiful. Yeah, from Alaska. Should I put it in here? Yes, you can okay. put it right in here. And this is really, really simple and just an easy thing to do at home. You kind of can't mess it up. And this is a great little pan oh, to use. Oh, so great, yep. Uh, a fish poacher. Uh, which obviously, if you're doing a whole uh, fillet like this, this is really the best thing to use. You can also use a roasting pan. Yeah, but you have to then bend then the tail. Yeah, it's like, a complicated and these process. These aren't so expensive. They're no, great. they're not. And if you don't have this, you can cut it into smaller pieces and do it in a saute pan right. or something different. But this is definitely a lot nicer. We're going to take our vegetables that we've cut up a little bit um, small just because this is really only going to poach for about 10 minutes. And so then that's it's leeks. Sit, okay. Leeks. Uh, carrots and fennel. This is just sort a, of like a cup of each. A, about a cup of each. Fennel, yum. Fennel adds just this great little licorice flavor. A um, little bit of celery as well, and a touch of shallot, which just adds a hint of sweetness. And as it cools in the liquid, that really comes out. And then we're going to sprinkle in um, about a tablespoon of the pink peppercorns. Mm, I like pink peppercorns. And now they're not really a pepper. Are no. they? Um, it's a, uh, what is a pink pepper? Going? It's a, it's a berry, a dried berry, really, part of the, the pepper family, but it doesn't have any bite. It's okay. just yeah. a, a floral and fragrant. Yeah, it's got more of a sweet flavor as well. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use a little bit of Pinot Blanc, uh, just kind of a crisp uh, white wine, nothing too buttery or okay. rich. Oops, Oops. Sorry, Should I Martha. turn this on? Yeah, we can turn that on. And then we're just going to add a bit of water just to cover just to cover the fish so it poaches So it's going to cook for about how long? Really, we're going to bring it up to a simmer. Once it simmers, we turn it down. We don't want it to boil. If you right. boil it, it kind of seizes up and gets a little too tough, right. breaks apart a bit. Uh, Ten minutes. Okay. With a coho, is a little bit uh, leaner fish, even around eight minutes. And then the trick is really we pull it off, we put it in the refrigerator, and we let it cool completely okay. in the fridge, and all the flavors come into the fish. All right. What's and I'm going to start with the, we're going to make the pickled cucumbers, which is also uh, always on the table with the salmon or even just about anything on Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. 
And so it's it's simple as could be. Is this one of mom's favorite things? Absolutely. Yes, it is. is it one of your favorite things, yes, Sarah? It is. <laughs> <laughs> so with a, either with a knife or with a, one of these Japanese mandolins, which works great, just going to slice about a quarter inch thick, and we'll slice the cucumbers I in a bowl. I confess that I could eat the whole bowl. Yeah, you know, it's one of those not. addictive things, and it's right. it's almost simpler than pickles because pickles take a while to make. This process in one night. They're really perfectly pickled and so four very cups delicious. of vinegar. Oh. Four cups of vinegar to one cup of sugar, and we really just whisk this all together. And again, if you want it a little sweeter, you can add a little more sugar. But mom was always very specific about not too sweet, not too sweet with the pickled cucumber. So we just whisk this together so the sugar dissolves. And as soon as the sugar dissolves into the vinegar. We're going to add the onions, which maybe Eric can grab. So white onions? Yeah. White onions. White onions. And then we'll go with our cucumbers. So how many cucumbers was that? What would you do there? Four cucumbers. Oh, uh, I think, think, yeah, about four cups of cucumbers. Yeah. So we're just, you know what? We're going to add them all right in. We're going to mix it together. And this simply just gets covered and left overnight. in the fridge, left overnight. And in 24 hours, they're delicious and tangy, mm. as, as you found out. Great. And then we'll move right here to making our sauce. And our sauce has a base of mayonnaise, which we're going to make ourselves. And we're going to use a little bit of red wine vinegar, Dijon mustard, a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you always put the salt in in the beginning until it dissolves with the vinegar. We're going to whisk that together. Oops. And then we'll add one You're egg. You're trying to get my, no, red, I'm trying to mess get my you up. beautiful red blouse, you guys. One egg and one egg yolk. And we use an extra egg yolk just to make it a little richer and a little tighter. We'll stir that together. And then as with any emulsified sauce, we will begin. Bruce can just pour me. I'm just doing the rest of the cucumber, guys. Perfect. <laughs> Bruce can pour me the, the oil. And we're going to add a mixture of canola oil and extra virgin olive oil. Sometimes if you use extra virgin the whole way, it comes out way too strong of extra virgin, especially if you have a grassy extra virgin. Yeah, so oh, we'll just use extra yes. virgin for flavor. Okay. So we're going to make this, as you can see, it emulsifies. I think I can keep up with oh, it. It's very, it's perfect. All right. So it's coming together well. And then Bruce will put in the extra virgin as well, the same speed. And really, you can add as fast so, as. So, how easy it is it to make whips. your own mayonnaise. There's no reason to. And it's such a difference. Yeah. It, oh. It's just the base of so many great sauces and condiments. It's really worth doing. Oh, so good. Just think a nice poached uh, artichoke would be good mm. with that mayonnaise. Really, you know, it works on anything. And we'll also use this later for the base for our egg salad. Oh, good. So, from this point, we have our mayonnaise made and ready. It's nice and thick, and we'll add uh, uh, whole grain mustard. Two and a half tablespoons. Dijon mustard. So who's actually creating all the menus for all your different restaurants? Both of you do Believe it? Believe it or not, we do it together. You collaborate. Yeah. Oh, great. And then we'll add honey to sweeten it. So we have essentially oh, a honey wow. mustard. And it has a little, a little bite, a little sweetness, which always goes very well with salmon. Fish. And, uh, Do you think it's boiling already, the fish? How does it look? Coming nope, to the simmer yet? Not yet. But then turn it way down? Yeah, once it comes to the simmer, turn it down. And it's, it's really slow poaching. You don't want it to cook. And as it cools, it'll cook through as well. Okay. Okay. And, and look, like magic. Now we're here. Like magic. This it's is, all done. <laughs> after it's cooled and set in the liquid, we'll remove it, let it drain, and then we just put it on a platter. Decorate it with uh, lemons Yum. in the classic style, a little bit of the fennel fronds, and some pink peppercorns. Mm. Bruce will cut this uh, beautiful rye bread, and we can make a plate. Oh, and another thing that you could be serving on Mother's Day for breakfast, um, it would you could make a waffle. And uh, they're so easy to make, and you need a great waffle maker like this one from Krupp's. Do you have a waffle maker at home? Oh, we do, yes. and I think we have a Krupp's one. You do. It's really good. And uh, it makes four Belgian waffles in just minutes. And thanks to our friends at Krupp's, uh, all of you in the audience are going home with one. So you're going to love that. Yes. Oh, and look at this. Is that your bread from Blue Ribbon? It's our bread from Blue Ribbon. Oh.
Oh, how beautiful is that? How nice. So what a perfect, perfect lunch. Thanks. I will take that, please. <laughs> Thank you. And next, um, the boys are going to make mom's favorite uh, egg salad, right? Egg yeah, salad. Yeah. Egg salad. Later, we'll reveal the glamorous new look of our mother of the bride. Happy Mother's Day from Twin Lab. High quality nutritional solutions from our family to yours. Twin Lab, answers for life. We're back with Blue Ribbons, Bruce and Eric Bromberg, and their mom's favorite sandwich, which is one of my favorites, egg salad. It's everybody's favorite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, especially when you have your beautiful bread. And I've learned, been learning all about the New York's only wood-burning bread oven from what day? 18... 1860s. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, how fabulous. Yeah, so we're trading amazing. bread for wood or wood for <laughs> bread. 
<laughs> it's a deal. We're okay, working we're it out. Okay, we're making a deal here. Um, so you boiled your eggs. Do you have so a here's, secret way of boiling? We do, and it's really, certainly you have the opportunity to have eggs like this, beautiful farm fresh eggs. Um, cold water in a pot, and we'll put the eggs in, set them down gently, turn the fire on full. Yep. Oop, wrong one. Wrong burner. <laughs> turn on the right burner. Turn it on full, and we're going to bring it to a boil. And it needs to be on simmer. It needs to actually hit boil. Okay. And then once it hits a boil, we're going to turn the heat off, put the cover on, and let it sit for about 10 minutes, depending for upon your size, size of it. Yeah. For this size egg. Big eggs, like 13 minutes. Big eggs, 10, you know, it goes 10 to 13 from medium to jumbo. That's a little egg. That's a beauty. Yeah, I know. These are teens. These are from my, from my bantams. They are very, very, very special. Yeah, and, see, and that's how you want to cook it, so the center of the yolk is almost, almost cooked, yeah. right? And, oh. and it's such an important thing, two, two factors of having fresh eggs and cooking them properly. Oh. Uh, we learned from uh -oh. mom and grandma that if you mess up those two steps and have eggs from the supermarket that have been sitting on a shelf for weeks, you overcook the wet eggs, I, your I egg forgot. salad. You were going to chop it in there. And our, uh, our grandmother... This is the most fun. We were, oh, this so was fun. our treat. Our grandmother, we're, we're, my we're, grandmother had one of those. The, oh, eggs, the, best. the egg salad came from, she grew up on a yep. farm in Connecticut where they had chickens and uh, the essence of making uh, egg salad. How many of you have one of these nice little egg slicers? <laughs> yeah, not so many. You all need one. Absolutely. Look how pretty it is. And oh. the color is beautiful and everything yes. else. And this is super simple. We're just going to use a quarter teaspoon of salt. Um, a pinch of pepper. Black. A little bit of black pepper. And we're going to put in a quarter cup of finely chopped parsley. That's not parsley. I'm sorry. That's celery. That celery. Celery parsley. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of the same color. My mom, put, my mom put the leaves of the celery also finely chopped. That, that's delicious. Cool. Which is so good. Yeah. And then a quarter cup of mayo. And again, this is really up to you. And we use the olive oil mayo, mm. which was the base of what we made. Definitely. Now I think Eric's going to mix that up. And we'll move down and Without start squashing. assembling right. our Just sandwich. Yeah. Kind of folding. Just like okay. you would uh, a cake batter. Now, I'm going to just slice a couple of so tomatoes. So, Sarah, do you want to come up? Absolutely. Come on up. <laughs> so, you're, oh, so you have onions and tomato on your, on your sandwich. Well. Right? Or it's on the side. <laughs> <laughs> we put it no on the onions. side because Mom's not the biggest fan of do you onions. Want me, do you want me to cut the bread? Yes, that would be okay. great. I need that knife. Okay, let me just grab a okay. towel and give it okay. a quick wipe. Here. We always had a garden when we were kids, so we always had Jersey fresh tomatoes. Oh. And that was a big hit with Yes, with where this. in New Jersey did you grow? Morristown, New Jersey. Oh, okay. So this is beautiful, crusty bread. Oh. Yep. Now, what do you call this loaf? This is just country white. Oh, how it's beautiful. It's really simple. And so, this is kind of loosely. So you cut this way? Yeah, I kind of put it yeah, down like this okay. and then just cut a few slices okay, like that. that. That you cannot use for a sandwich. Nope. So we about that thick? We go or? about three quarters of an inch thick. So oh, thicker? Get, oh, yeah, just, just a, a little thicker. I'm on a diet. This is mine. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is mine. Okay, that's all. Not on Mother's Day, though. Huh? Throw all oh, caution to the wind. Throw all caution to okay, the wind. Okay, so you like that? Yeah, that's okay. beautiful. Perfect. We'll do it with that slice. Okay. Oh, how beautiful. Does it look about right, Mom? Mmm. Does that look good? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Enough mayo for you? Yes, that's Do perfect. you butter your bread? Perfect. You no, butter? no, don't. It was always kind of light on mayo and just really the simple sandwich. And if you make all of this just right, it's really a pretty delicious. Okay, bread. that's mom's. So we're going to set that one up. We'll that's let for mom you, Sarah. add what she wants okay. to add. We I have want, some I want one. pickles. I'm going to make you one as Here, well. Yeah, that one. This one on the little <laughs> thin the bread. The skinnier bread? Yes, on the skinny bread. <laughs> you can do that. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> 